And now, we're going to Mars! Today, we're talking about Earth's role in space. Precession is a slow change in the orientation of the Earth's axis. This can affect the equinoxes and the position of the poles on Earth. Nutation is the swaying of Earth's axis. It can lead to a change of the angle at which Earth tilts. Aerocenter, or the very center, is a center of mass or two or more bodies. This could affect the motion of the Earth and the Moon. The rotation of the Earth on its axis gives us night and day. <laughs> the revolution of the Earth gives us seasons. Like spring! <laughs> like summer! Like fall! And winter. Fission is the act of dividing things into two parts. This could contribute to the heat of the Earth. In our two nuclei, they collide and form a big nuclei. <laughs> One. Convection is the movement within a fluid that causes warmer material to rise and cooler material to sink. This could affect the heating of the Earth. One. Conduction is the transfer of heat directly through a substance. This could also affect the heat of the Earth. One. Electromagnetic radiation is the radiation given off by things such as lights, radios, and televisions. This affects our Earth through contributing to the greenhouse effect. <laughs> One. Combustion is the act of burning something. This can be harmful to the environment and the atmosphere. Of Earth. A neap tide is a tide just after the first or third quarters of the moon when there is the least difference between high and low water. Spring tide is a tide just after the new or full moon when there is the greatest distance. Not distance. Difference! <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> oh, I fell. One. An equinox is the time or date at which the sun crosses the celestial equator. This happens twice a year, and the dates that it's closest to would be around March 20th and September 22nd. On these days, the length of day and night will be equal. An eclipse is when one celestial body obscures another. This happens around every six months. A solstice is when the sun reaches the highest point in the sky at noon. This is marked by the longest and the shortest days, or the summer and the winter solstice. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants use sunlight to synthesize foods from carbon dioxide and water. This is a very important process and it affects our environment. We're back from Mars! <laughs> <laughs>